Welcome. This video introduces phasers and provides an overview of how and why phasers are used in circuit analysis for sinusoidal steady state response. Phasers are complex numbers with magnitude and phase. Phasers represent sinusoidal voltage and current signals in circuit theory. The red arrow is a phaser, plotted in the complex plane. Phasers come from exponential functions. This time domain exponential function represents the red arrow in the drawing on the left, rotating counterclockwise around in a circle. The red arrow rotates at a constant rate of omega t radians per second. The red arrow by itself is the phasor, described by the equation a sub m e to the j phi. The measurable circuit signals of interest are sinusoids. We bring exponentials into the analysis so that we can use a property of exponentials to remove the j omega t time varying part from calculation. The signal is still time varying, but analysis can be done without including that time varying term. We use phasers because they can simplify circuit analysis in sinusoidal steady state response. For the resistive circuit on the left, a voltage divider formula expresses the output voltage V out in terms of V in. This applies to all types of voltages in the time and frequency domains. The low pass filter circuit on the right has one reactive element, a capacitor. For sinusoidal steady state, phasers allow a similar voltage divider derivation of the frequency domain transfer function V out over V in, which is frequency dependent. Bold phase type for V in and V out indicates that they are phasor quantities. The left hand side shows equations starting with Kirchhoff's voltage law used to derive the time domain response of the series RC low pass filter circuit to an input voltage V in. For sinusoidal steady state analysis, phasers allow us to skip long time domain derivations. Instead, we can use algebraic equations like the voltage divider shown previously to analyze circuits with capacitors and inductors. The vertical flow of steps represents a classical time domain differential equation solution process like we saw in the last slide. For a series RC low pass filter, driven by a sinusoid, here are some of the equations in the time domain solution process. Phasers represent a transformation from time domain to steady state frequency domain for calculating sinusoidal response. At the end of the phasor calculation process, the result can be converted back into time domain. For some applications, the desired result is itself a frequency domain expression, like a transfer function magnitude or phase. For that case, the circuit behavior can be left in the phasor domain. The classical time domain differential equation solution process, going downward on the left hand side, is general and applicable to many input signals and types of response. The phasor domain flow going down the right hand side is specific to sinusoidal steady state response. The branch relationships for resistors, capacitors, and inductors 
can be expressed in the phaser domain. Two different notations are shown. Bold face on signal variables indicates phaser domain. Bars over the signal variables also indicate phaser domain. Many circuit theory laws that we commonly use for circuit analysis in the time domain also apply in the phaser domain. Kirchhoff's laws can be applied in the phaser domain using phaser domain branch relationship equations. We saw an example of a phaser domain voltage divider in this presentation. Thank you for watching and learning with us.